the, the base assumptions are known. And so mm -hmm. once I can explain that to in-house counsel and they can understand that enough to take it to their management, it's no longer a mystery. Right. It, you know, they can now say, okay, I see that that figure and I understand what it's saying, but I also understand how the data created that. And right. so then, then you can have a much better discussion. Then you can say, well, okay, but what if X, Y, and Z? Right. You know, maybe, maybe it's based on citations. Maybe it's based on the relative age of something. But you, you're not just stopped by that, that drawing on a page and, and stuck there. You can actually dig into it deeper and based on questions that are coming back too. And this is another thing I like. Those questions can filter back to me and we can maybe change the way things are analyzed based on, on their questions or their ideas. Mm -hmm. They might say, well, no, that's not a valid assumption. We need to be looking somewhere over here instead because right. this thing is not really relevant. So it's skewing the data or skewing the okay. results rather. It, it helps move the conversation along a lot, really, because I'm, we we certainly don't know everything, uh, and you know, all basically what we're doing is we're taking what we have and and assumptions that we've made based on their instructions and and generating a result, but then we all need to understand how that came together 